with the heading of accounts payable. Put the heading of accounts payable. Can you please note it down these steps, everyone? After the these steps, then I can explain. Please note it down these steps. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Please note it down. Put the heading of accounts payable, vendor. Note it down the steps, everyone. Don't write the path. Don't write the path. Just you can write the heading. Are you writing? Yes, no? Yes, yes.
Done, done, completed? Yes, yes. sir. Yes. Remaining people, please, please complete, okay? Create vendor BP. Yeah. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Accounts payable, accounts payable, deal with the accounts payable, deal otherwise do one thing, you can arise the deal. Accounts payable is monitor and record why deal. Accounts payable is you can arise deal everyone. You can remove the deal. Sorry. Accounts payable is monitor and record All vendor activities, all vendor activities example vendor creation. Vendor invoice, vendor payments, vendor approvals, etc. Next line. Next line, note it down. It is capture. It is capture. All type of vendor transactions. All type of vendor transactions. All type of vendor transactions. And everyone noted? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Example yes, sir. accounts payable is capture vendor related transaction. Accounts receivable? Anyone? Customer, 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 customer transaction. Same note for accounts receivable, it will capture customer related. Okay. Accounts payable is related to vendor activities. Accounts receivable is related to customer activities. Customer activities. 
do one thing everyone let's try to understand uh, one scenario for example let's go to the old classes previous classes in case if you want to create the gl in case if you want to create the gl what we will do first we will set up accounts group first we will set up accounts group then under the accounts group we will create the gl under the accounts group we will create the gl are you agree or not for example uh, fixed asset so under the fixed asset is accounts group under the fixed asset we will create example uh, land account and uh, buildings account buildings account some etc one more accounts group is expenses indirect expenses under indirect expenses we will create example rent account cash account sorry rent account commission paid account blah 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 etc this is the previous classes are you agree or not yes no yes sir yes everyone same to same way same to same even you want to create the vendor and customer under accounts group but their accounts group is different their accounts group is different here accounts group is different in ecc everyone in ecc example example let's concentrate here, everyone in ecc where we will ecc means old server okay s for hana means new server where you will create the vendor example vendor is let us assume fk01 create the vendor in finance and uh, xk01 create the vendor in central and uh, mk01 create the vendor in purchase or i mean purchase organization level this is an ecc on ecc in this place we will create the vendor it's called vendor creation on ecc vendor creation vendor creation then uh, in customer creation example ecc customer creation example uh, here fd01 customer at finance and uh, xd01 and here maybe one more t code is called uh, vd01 i believe vd01 or mk01 or whatever md01 or whatever everyone so this all the t codes now in s4 hana all the t codes are removed all the t codes are removed now all the t codes are removed even this also all the t codes are removed in the place of this many t codes we have now only one t code that is called bp business partner it's called bp business partner so where you will create the customer on bp this is the t code bp business partner where we will create the vendor on bp same t code same t code we will create vendors same t code we will create customer so all the t codes all ecc t codes merged into one t code all ecc t codes merged into one 
all the ECCT codes merged into one. Merged into one. Merged into one. This is called S4 HANA. S4 HANA. In the S4 HANA, for example, everyone, let's open S4 HANA. Let's open S4 HANA example. Let's open S4 HANA. For example, what is the oldest T code? T code is called. Let's enter FK01. If you enter, if you go to FK01, enter FK01, FK01, enter, enter. This message will come. Can anyone please read this message? What is this? Read anyone who will read? Redirecting to transaction BP as transaction FK01 is obsolete. Absolutely. So redirecting to transaction BP if you enter FK01. If you enter XK01, XK01, enter. See, same one. And uh, MK01, same. And again, here also FD01, customer, same. Again, uh, XD01, same. Even VD01, I believe. VD01 also same. If you enter BP, business partner, enter business partner. This is the business partner. Here we want to create the customer and vendor. I will show you how to create. Then you want to ask one question. Sir, Vendor and customer, we are creating same same T code. Then how the system will understand? This is the vendor and this is the customer. Vendor, we are creating T code BP. Customer, we are creating T code BP. Then how the system will going to understand? This is the vendor and this is the customer. Everyone. During the BP creation, we will select the category. If you create the customer, we will select customer category. If you create vendor, we will select the vendor category. Based on the category field, the system will understand, okay, this is the vendor. Okay, this is the customer. Like that. Okay. Business partner. BP. Business partner. BP. Business partner. Nothing but vendor or customer. Can you please note it on this?
Terzo. Very good. Thanks for replying. For example, everyone. So one more understanding. One more understanding. Sir, I already told you. I already told you. Uh, under accounts group, we will create the, for example, for if you want to create the GL. If you want to create the GL, what we will do? First, we will set up the accounts group. Under the accounts group, we will create the VL. Same way, example, everyone, example, in ECC, in ECC and S4 HANA, try to understand the difference. Old server and new server, okay. Both you people want to understand. For example, we have even vendor accounts groups, even vendor accounts group and customer accounts groups. In example, let us assume vendor accounts group. Uh, we have uh, domestic vendors. Foreign vendors. Vendors. And uh, foreign vendors. Let us assume foreign vendors. And the inventory vendor service vendors and one-time vendors here we will set up one number range here we will set up one number range this is the vendor accounts group under this vendor accounts group we will create the vendor i want to create one vendor ramu private limited so this Ramu Private Limited comes under domestic or when for foreign? Anyone? Domestic. 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 So here example I'm giving 100 to 200 number range. Here I'm giving uh, uh, 201 to 300. So here we can assign like under domestic Ramu and Ramu Private Limited. Ramu Private Limited. Private Limited. Here uh, 100. Then again, Sumu Private Limited. Sumu Limited, whatever. 101. Then, like this. So, what is this? This is the vendor. And this is the accounts group. Same way, foreign vendors also. Foreign vendors also. Vendor some foreign vendors also. Let us assume John Private Limited, LTD like that. And here number will come 201. So this is the vendor. So this simple process in, simple process in ECC. Even customer also. Customer also we will create uh, accounts group. Under the accounts group, we will create the customers, even in customers also. Even in customer also, we will create the same like that. This is the process in ECC. Same process in S for HANA also, but in a small change. Everyone, and following everyone, what I am telling, yes, no? Similar to GL actually, yes, no? Following? Yes, sir. yes sir. similar to gl like that so this is the vendors this is the vendor and this is the vendor accounts groups this is the vendor and this is the vendor accounts group same way in customers also first we will create the customer accounts group under the customer accounts group we will create the customer this simple synonym in ecc even in s4 hana even in s4 hana also Look like same, but small change. But small change. So example, let it be. Example, everyone. Concentrate everyone. Concentrate here. So what is the vendor accounts group? Concentrate everyone. 
what is the vendor accounts group let it be vendor accounts group what is that example domestic vendors domestic vendor and uh, foreign vendors and uh, inventory vendor inventory vendors and service vendor and one time vendors one time vendors what it is this is the vendor accounts group this is an a vendor accounts group same way in customer accounts group same way in customer accounts group in s4 hana we are discussing everyone the same way in customer accounts group so what is a customer accounts group see same accounts group for example uh, domestic anyone tell me domestic customers foreign customers foreign customers very good inventory customer and service customer one and time. one time customer one time customer customer everyone now you can concentrate here so this vendor accounts group and customer accounts group in ecc directly under this accounts group we will under this accounts group we will create the vendor and under this uh, customer accounts group we will create the customer we will create the customer in ecc directly you can create under vendor accounts group we will create the vendor under customer accounts group we will create the customer they this is the t codes is separate and this t codes is separate example vendor we will create fk01 and customer we will create fd01 example separate separate both are separate but now in s4 hana both are merged into one t code that is called bp business partner then for this purpose what we need to do this purpose what we need to do everyone concentrated everyone so again one more pro process is add on one more process is add on that is called everyone that is called example business partner bp group business partner group bp group business partner group business partner group business partner group what is that example domestic i mean bp domestic domestic bp group otherwise bp group and uh, foreign bp group foreign bp group and uh, what is that inventory right inventory bp group service and uh, service bp group listen don't write and uh, one time bp group one time bp group bp group this is the business partner groups so what we will do everyone what we will do what we will do actually now first we will create individual bp groups example first we can create vendor accounts group 
then later we will create customer accounts group then later we will create bp groups later we will create bp groups the next step is we want to assign we want to assign or map we want to map this vendor accounts group to bp group vendor accounts group to bp group domestic vendor to domestic bp group foreign vendor to foreign bp group inventory vendor to inventory bp group we will map or assign we will map or assign and same way here also here also we are going to assign customer accounts group to bp group customer accounts group to bp group domestic customer to domestic bp group foreign customer to foreign bp group take care of the spellings everyone An inventory customer group to inventory bp group we are going to map and under this business partner group we will create the bp under this under this we will create bp under this we will create the bp bp means customer or vendor creation customer or or vendor or customer creation whatever vendor or customer creation how we will create the customer everyone how we will create the vendor directly for example in the gl in the gl what we will do first we will create the accounts group under the accounts group directly we can create the gl but here also here also we will create vendor accounts group so this vendor accounts group we will going to map bp group under the bp group we will create the vendor same way we will create customer accounts group this customer accounts group we are going to map in the bp group under the bp group we will create the bp so here here bp means here we will create vendor and customer both we will create at a time then how the system will going to understand this is vendor or this is the customer based on the category during the bp creation business partner creation we will select the category if you create the vendor we will select the vendor category if you select the customer we will select the customer category based on the category the system will going to understand this is the vendor or this is the customer everyone following what i am telling yes no yes sir yes sir yes okay sir. this is the target everyone then based on for example everyone as usual uh, as usual everyone as usual concentrate everyone if you create if you create in the ecc in the ecc if you create vendor or customer one number was going to generate it. even in the bp if you create vendor or customer two numbers was going to generate it. how many numbers two numbers i will show you how it can be reflected for example everyone here for vendor groups we will create one number range for domestic vendor one number foreign vendor one number inventory vendor number we will create number range na? from this number to this number here we will create one number range number range here we are create 
नंबर रेंज एक्चुअली नंबर रेंज फ्रॉम दिस नंबर टू दिस नंबर फॉर ईच अकाउंट ग्रुप वी विल क्रिएट वन नंबर रेंज वन नंबर रेंज वन सेकेंड एंड हेलो No, I'm in class now. I will call it. Okay. Sorry, everyone. So, vendor accounts group and customer accounts group. Even for the customer accounts group, also we will create one number range. Customer accounts group also we will create one number range. Number range. When this number will going to generate it? If you create the customer. Even BP group also, BP group also, we will create one number range. BP group also, we required one number range. For each accounts group, each accounts group, plastic. for each accounts group, we will create one number range. Number range. Okay, let's, I will show you how to create the number, how to map the number. If you create the BP, which number can be updated? Basically, two numbers can be updated if you create the BP. One is for vendor accounts group number, one is for BP number. If you create the customer, one is for uh, customer accounts group number, one is for BP number. Two numbers can be reflected. For one be one business partner okay let it be i will show you don't confuse here very simple everyone accounts groups we will create the number range customer groups we will create the number range even bp group also we will create the number range under the bp group we are going to create the bp based on the bp we will post document entries we will post document entries we will post document entries if you want to post document entries we required document type and number ranges Everyone, GL document type and number ranges. What is that? GL document type and number ranges. SA, AB, and SA and AB, right? SA and AB, we can use. For vendor document types, example, everyone, vendor document type, example, KA, vendor document. KA is Vendor document. Vendor document. Then KR. KR. Vendor invoice. And uh, KG. Listen, don't write. KG. Vendor credit memo. And uh, KZ, vendor payment, vendor payment, it's a vendor payment and all. So when and each example, everyone, for each document type, we will create what we will create, everyone. For each document type, I may create number range or not? Number range, yes, sir. We will create the number range. We will create the number range. So here we will understand here, everyone, here you can understand. Here you can understand everyone. 
for this number range and this document type number range and document type when it will going to reflect it for when it will when it can be support during the document entry document document entry posting document entry posting this accounts groups and number ranges when it can be reflected during the master data creation this document type and number ranges reflected during the document entry postings posting even same to same like customer side also same to same for customer side also example example everyone um example ba customer document and uh, dr dr customer invoice and uh, dj sorry dg customer credit memo memo and dj customer anyone payment customer payment so that is customer debit memo no sir dg ha i will discuss for example in the general accounting terminology for vendor side it called as a debit memo customer side it called as a credit memo but in the sap terminology we want to call both side in credit memo only vendor credit memo and customer credit memo in the general accounting terminology we are called for vendor side we are called as a debit memo for customer side we are called as a credit memo but in sap both we want to call as a credit memo terminology try to understand the terminology vendor credit memo in the in the general accounting terminology we are called as a debit memo debit note like that but here we want to call vendor credit memo customer credit memo like that. during the accounting entry posting i will give note for this document types also when everyone for this also we will create number range number range create number range number ranges so this document types and number ranges when we can use where we can use during document the post. document document entry, post. entry posting so based on the document entry posting we will generate the reports we will generate the reports we will generate the reports okay so how many number ranges here this one number range this number range this number range four. even four, this five. number range and four or five number ranges we can create okay so i'm repeating one second everyone i'm repeating one second how you created in the gl we can create accounts group under the accounts group we will create the gl same to same way here also we can create vendor accounts group and a customer accounts group so this both accounts group we are going to map in the bp groups business partner group under the business partner group we will create the bp bp business partner means maybe customer and maybe vendor customer and vendor both we will create on the t code bp then how the system will understand this is the customer and this is the vendor based on your category based on your category if you select vendor category okay system feel system understand that is the vendor if you select the customer category 
and the system understand okay this is the customer based on your category system will going to understand and under the bp we will post document entries during the document entry posting we will select the document type based on the document type system will understand which is vendor invoice which is customer invoice which is vendor credit memo which is customer credit memo which is vendor payment and which is customer payment like that okay and based on the document entry posting we will generate the reports understood everyone yes no okay yes sir yes sir. note it down yes. very good man very good now you can note it down Uh, take care of the spellings, everyone. Once you completed, please respond everyone. So please scroll down, sir.
Then everyone's noted. One minute, sir. No, oh, yeah. Ben, sir. Then, ma'am. Oh. So let's see the let's start the configuration tomorrow. Okay. So let's try to understand and uh, start the configuration. So same thing here, everyone. First step, uh, for example, what is the first step? Define number ranges for BP and define bp group and assign the number ranges and define accounts group with screen layout create number ranges same to same whatever uh, explanation we did it now same type of configuration again assign number range to vendor accounts group and uh, define number ranges to assign for direction of bp and tolerance define the tolerance Do document type and uh, define document type for ledgers define document number ranges create vendor reconciliation account and create vendors means bp then later we will post the transaction very simple everyone but if you properly understand it's become easy okay yeah Thank you, everyone. Please complete uh, foreign currency valuation, the last class. Please complete foreign currency valuation. Tomorrow onwards, accounts payable configuration will start. Be ready with that. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Any doubts, anyone? Let's discuss the doubts tomorrow. Once I start the configuration, huh? that time we will discuss. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Yes, thank you all. Bye.